Hey guys, how we doing? It's G69 with G69's Air Hard Crew. How we doing? Um, guys, basically, um, I'm filming with my phone right now, my iPhone. Um, I wanted to get, um, just basically show you all my guns. The guns that I use now. Um, and the rest of them I have sold. Um, uh, one's junked as a part gun now. That's basically as a part gun. I've used, I've took parts off of that and used it for my other gun, AK and stuff. You see, I got them all off the wall. Okay. Well, first thing you're gonna need, guys, before you do anything, when you, you well, first thing you're gonna need is a gun, of course. But when once you get a gun, please do me a favor and get you a gun case. You don't have to have one fancy like that one I got over there. You just need a basic foldable gun case. I don't even care if it'll fit in a big duffel bag, something like that. Okay. And also, yes, you're going to see on mine, guys, that I have do, I do have silencers and I do have black tips on every single one of mine. But, 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 that can all be changed. I can take them off and screw orange tips on there if I got to. I just put that black tip on that. I thought that looked pretty good. Um, but I wanted to run, run through these real quick with y'all for y'all. Okay, this is a Sima. Um, MPK5 or MP5. I got the Mad Bull suppressor, silencer, Raptor 2, 9mm engraving. It's pretty cool. Boise, Idaho, Gem Tech. Um, really great gun. Uh, it's got a 9.6 in there, and which this is as well. Another one, GP, a GP 1600 milliamp, 9.6 volt. Um, GNP make real good batteries. GNP make real good everything. Um, I got the factory battery that came in here right now, and as you can see, shoots very nice. Um, okay, we move up here. I got my blowback rifle right here. I just put that silencer on there about five minutes ago. Yeah, I know it's upside down, but that's fine. Um, yeah, oh man, it makes it shoot great. Uh, I had to fix this part. I was kind of pissed off. I had to take this off one of my other guns. The actual Sima one broke because it was made out of pop metal. It sucked. I could not believe that on Sima. Now, that pissed me off, Sima. That really pissed me off. I almost had to send this whole gun back for that reason. But, y'all see this huge stick battery right here, right? Okay. This one right here is big enough as it is. This is a huge battery. But look at that compared to that one. You see how big that is, guys? Are you really recognizing how big that battery is? Look at that. From the tip of that silencer down. Okay, this is the battery that I run in my blowback right here. They say you can't run a 9.6 in there. Look how big the one I run in there is. And it blows back fine. Uh, I blow back every single time. This is my favorite weapon now of all choice. No doubt. The AK-47 Romania type. This is... this. That shit right there is badass, guys. I'm telling you, that is the deal. That motherfucker is fat. Um, some of these, of course, yeah, the little straps on there I just got for the video. Then I wouldn't wear, I wouldn't use them. But this strap right here, I definitely use. Um, the strap on the shotguns is, is decent. I'd use that. Uh, definitely my Condor over there. That's a Lancer here, one piece. That's a con, a Condor one piece Cobra. Okay, now next thing I want to show you. Um, the battery that goes in my M4. A lot of you guys are M4 lovers, so here we go. But this is a GNG. This is the full metal. Um, it, it, I believe it's the combat version, but it's the M4 uh, full metal special edition or limit. Excuse me, limited edition. Um, so there's upgrade, and you know, see, you see where right there, where usually it's white, where it says GNG. Mine's uh, just regular tan and says GNG. As well as it says it on this side of the gun, GNG right here. And then you go down, then it says it right here. You know, you got your GNG Airsoft made in Taiwan. Um, right here, I got a nice GNG mag I got for it, made in Taiwan. Nice grip on it, nice plastic mag. It keeps the weight down on it really, really nice. The gun is really, really light to be metal, um, so I really like that. Um, got a great sling on it. That sling actually came off of D-Boys. Guys, I do not recommend a D-Boys gun. I've went through several of them now. Please don't get a D-Boys. Um, that's why I'm showing you these guns right now. Now, there's my Echo 1. 
that's the one I have shot the less of right here, and this is the beast of them all right here. Um, that one right there, you're looking at you know around five hundred dollars for everything I got on that one right there, including the scope and the upgrades that I've got in it. So you're looking at pretty pretty good penny there. Um, I would show you the batteries in the back of that, but it's kind of hard to get out. Um, well, it's not hard to get out. It's just hard for me to stand the gun back up and stuff. This one, I upgraded the back. This is your regular Sima, guys. This is what I recommend every one of you guys go and get right here. And I say this a lot. You always see me say this on my videos. Um, but, I mean, like, see how I got it where you can just hit your thumb and you cut the flashlight on? I wish I could hold the camera there where you could actually see. Like... See that? You cut it on and off right there. And you get your foldable stock right there. Okay, as you move over. I put, and you can see I put a different uh, top rail off of there. That's off a of D-Boy, so it's not so shiny. Um, I'll show y'all how she fires. Great gun. Just charge the battery up in all of them. Um, let me show you the battery on it. Maybe I can set it like this. The back pops right open on it like this. And I just made it perfect, um, the battery, where it wedges in there perfect. Only thing I did to fix it, and see how big my battery is, guys? I upgraded it. Only thing I did to fix it was put some uh, double-sided tape in the middle of it right there. That's the only thing I did. And that stops it from wobbling and everything. You got your huge area in the back of your gun right there. Big old space. In the back of your, for your in the back, so that's a good thing for you for you beginners. Um, this would be the perfect gun for y'all, right here. Uh, the Sima OM50, I believe it is. Uh, if you want to know more about it, contact me, and I'll tell you exactly what it is. Either that or the J and, or the G and G, or I mean JG, um, which is this one right here. That's another one of my babies right there. I love this gun. This is a very sweet gun. I've got a nice intellect battery in that, which is upgraded as well. As y'all can see, they're no joke. I mean, every one of them I got is... They run quick. They all run nice. This is my actual shotgun replica of the real one I have. So, and it actually... Hold your shell up in there. I mean, it's sweet as it can be, man. Um, my M14 in the middle, which does have the, uh, I don't know if y'all can see. You cock it back right there. And it has the, it does have the bolt latch. Man, it's hard to see. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, let's see what I can do here. Should have probably had it like this the whole time, but I don't know. I can't never figure it out. It's so hard. Anyway, you got the bolt latch right here. Damn it. I'm sorry about this, guys. If my phone would just sit up somewhere, right there. Okay, you got your bolt latch right here. Which, will, When you press it up, it'll slam it back shut. So you got your nice clank for all you little kids out there. It's a real quiet gun. So, yeah, guys, that's my arsenal. That is my arsenal right there. Uh, I have none of my pistols out, and so I, I just I basically want to just make this for y'all. A little 10-minute vid. Um, I was going to install this for y'all, show y'all how easy it is to install that. I can go ahead and do that real quick, and I will show you how easy and simple it is to install that battery. People say it's hard to do it. But once your delta ring gets broken, which is this right here, it's not hard at all. It's off. This is a nunchuck battery, not a butterfly battery, a nunchuck. I'm gonna fit right in there like that. I mean I can get it done in under 30 seconds. Alright, I'm snapped in. My fuse is tucked under. It's all fitted in there very nicely. Make sure you find the small end, the narrow end goes at the front. Tuck it right in. Pull your delta ring back. 
voila. There you go. And now you're ready to get down on your M4. So, with that being said, guys, I know this is a 10 minute video, and I better go ahead and cut it short. Um, but, yep, I do like my new silencer I just put on this gun. Uh, I think this is going to be a pretty badass puppy right here. So, uh, yeah, man, y'all guys, make sure you stay subbed up and everything, and uh, I'll be doing some giveaways and shit shortly. So, uh, yeah, guys, stay up, stay good, and peace out.